Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex ST. I am Sanjay. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about case expressions in MySQL. So basically, in MySQL, case expressions are just like if-else logic where we will use about some conditional statements by the help of these statements actually we can filter out our result data so go to next tab so here we have some statements while going through these statements actually we will understand about some basic concept of mysql case expressions so mysql case expression is a control flow structure that allows us to add if else logic to a query Generally speaking, we can use the case expression anywhere that allows a valid expression. For example, like for the select statement, using in where condition and order by clauses. The case expression has two forms called simple case and the searched case. Now for the first paragraph, simply MySQL case expression is just like if else logic block, which basically a part of control flow structure we can use this case expression in our query simply case expressions we can use anywhere that allows a expression we can use inside select a statement where and the order by clauses we will see in a bit by going through our database queries now case expressions has two forms called simple case and the searched case in the simple case this is the syntax actually we have to follow here we have to write case now inside this simple case expression we have to write case and here we have to pass the value on the behalf of this value actually we have to write some conditional statements like when value 1 means value equal to value 1 then this is the result when value equal to value 2 then this is the result and finally we have to go something like this and finally else block end so this is actually we need to write inside simple case expression now if we move to search case expression then we need to write expression here expression should use either some logical statements or let's say some assignment operators or let's say that expression includes like AND operator and OR operator. So on the behalf of that expression, we need to write our result here. On the behalf of expression 2, we need to write our result here. Something like this and finally with the ELSE block. So simply, we can use case in two forms. Simply bypassing either value or bypassing either expressions. So writing it here, simply the case expression has two forms called simple case and the searched case. Let's see that how can we use case expressions in MySQL queries. So if I back to our phpMyAdmin, now this is our database we have opened. Now inside this database, right now we have only two tables. The first tab table is about tbl underscore roles and second something tbl underscore users. The table something table underscore roles contains all about the role and their ID. It means that inside this table, the first ID is admin, second is sub admin, and so on. These ID basically used to associate with this users table where we had defined some user, and on the behalf of these users detail, we have a column called role ID. Now we can understand simply as the first record has role ID value 1. It means that it is admin because 1 goes to admin. Now inside the second record we have 3 like so on. So 3 stands for the role ID something for the author. So it means that the second record and the third record is something author we have. Now we are going to use called case expression here. On the behalf of role ID, it means that if role ID equals to 1, it means that if role ID have value 1, then it stands for admin. So we are going to use case expression here to evaluate our data. So open SQL tab into a new tab and let's say that here simply select. Let's say that we are going to firstly select about the name and the email address. So let's name, email 
and we are going to use call the case expression here so simply by putting parenthesis now inside this parenthesis let's say that case and here we have to write our value let's say role id it's simply your attribute or the column name so this is all about value pressing enter let's say that when role id equal to 1 it means that then we need to output something let's say admin this is what actually when role id equal to 1 then this is admin again if i copy the same line pasting it here pasting it here pasting it here and this time let's change to 2 3 and the 4 now finally for the second it should be sub admin what we have inside this rules table third we have let's say author so author and the fourth role number id is something editor so let's say that editor here and finally let's say that our database contains a role id something which does not exist in our table so in that case actually we need to write our else block so let's else and here simply let's say no role found and finally we need to end here so this is and expression of this case statement now finally let's say that as role name let's say from tbl underscore users so if i copy all the syntax back to a slide open a new tab now this is what we have written select name email now this is rule id so if we back to our documentation now this is something case rule id when equals to 1 then admin when equals to 2 then this is some admin and so on and finally for the else block let's say that this value does not exist in our table to handle that situation actually we have specified all about else block and finally and here now this is what we have written and finally we have provided as alias name so back to our sql tab and if i press ctrl enter or simply on the go button now simply we have the data something like that this is the first user which is admin author author and so on on the behalf of this email id is something rohit, rohit at gmail .com. back to our table now inside this we have rule id equal to 6 so simply as we know that for this rule id we exist as customer but we haven't provided in our mysql so if we pass about when equals to 6 then this is customer that can we can handle this situation as well so this is the syntax actually we have made on the behalf of our first condition and the first statement that actually we had studied about simple case expression this is something like here what we have applied and seen about the result set now let's say that we are going to change that simplest query to our searched case expression so back to sql tab go to sql and simply let's say select again let's say id name email and i'm going to write here something let's say again for the parenthesis now inside this parenthesis we are going to use called the case expression so case and let's say rule id equal to one not here simply actually simply case and finally we are going to provide let's say when rule id equal to equal to one then in that condition we want that it should be admin now instead of using rule id here means if you back to slide now what we have seen that instead of using rule id here what basically i'm going to do i'm going to cut this rule id from here and simply providing a expression here i'm going to convert the simplest case expression to a searched case expression where we are using our expression here comparing rule id equal to 1 so simply if i copy this pasting it here again pasting it here pasting it here and so on so if i copy this block go to sql tab replace it here and let's say that from tbl underscore users 
now simply all we have done now we have provided like ID name email and finally a case expression so we have some error and error is about syntax error so we have to provide a comma here now if I copy the syntax click on go button now we have all the data as what we have expected so if we back to slide pasting it here now if we change again just cut rule ID from here passing it here so rule ID get rid of that get rid of that and finally get rid of that so simply this is all about simple case expression where we have some value comparing and outputting our data now for the search data we have an expression here simply as we can see now these are the two ways actually by using our case expression we can evaluate our data this is a if else logic to our MySQL queries now let's create one more scenario to our MySQL data now inside this table as we know that we have several users right now we have only 11 rows inside this table just think about thousand of rows now what we want from this table we want that from the list of users we need a count value that how many we have admin sub admin author editor and so on from this table means we want to count all the values respectively so if I open SQL tab now we are going to use case expression here as well so let's say select simply let's say if we will pass a parenthesis let's say that case or simply we can pass a syntax like that we want a count value so count here inside this count function let's say case let's say when rule id equal to so rule id equals to when then we need a count value of one else we are going to provide null value and and here so this is the first way to count admin so again if I copy pasting it here so this is let's say for the role ID 2 we want to return 1 to be counting and let's say that this is as admin so this is something alias name again let's say as sub underscore admin and change the third row value it's something role ID 3 then I think that it should be author so let's say as something author and for the fourth value if we go and check the role name something editor we have so let's say editor and for the fifth value we have let's say blogger so if I putting it here let's say that as blogger and finally copy pasting it here and I think that for the sixth value we have let's say customer so simply let's say customer we have from the table something called TBL users all we have done now we have provided to count all the means all the users where role ID equal to 1 and this should be assigned to Alia something for the admin we are going to count sub admin so it is checking that if role ID 2 then it returns the count value of 1 otherwise it returns null value and here now finally we have generated our query but we have some errors and error is that an alias was previously found so if I get rid of this extra space from this count and parenthesis now all error has gone so simply if I copy this syntax back to a slide and pasting it here now this is the query what we have written we are simply about counting all the rules on the behalf of that role ID so back to PHMI admin now click on go button now simply on the result as we can see that from the list of users we have admin equal to 1 we have sub admin 2 means 1 we have author equal to 4 2 editor equal to 4 and so on so if we count 
go manually and count all about the customer and as we know that the customer has role ID of value 6 go here and found so now inside this users table we have customer 1 and the customer 2 so this is all about simply inside this table we have role ID equal to 1 for the one time it means admin equal to 1 so if suppose that we have no expression like case if else logic in our MySQL queries then we need to write six time queries by using our where condition simply let's just select count from TVL users where user ID simply role ID equals to one which gives the count of admin again for the same query for the sub admin select count from the TVL users where role ID equals to two same for the author like role ID equals to three so we need to generate six times query now by using our case expression we had generated one time query and by using our f else logic means inside our case expression we have counted all the roles on the behalf of their role id so simply guys by the help of this video actually we understood about mysql case expressions in our queries MySQL case expressions has two forms. We have seen both forms like simple case and the search case. This is the second what we have seen. This is inside search case because we had used the count function as well as expression inside our logic. So simply guys inside this video if you have any doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this, this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.